What's up y'all? Today I'm going to teach you how to do a crook on your wakeboard off the kicker at the cable park. The tricks that you're going to want to already know how to do before attempting the crook are just a whirly bird, also a tantrum to fakey, and also just a frontside 180 off the kicker. If you have all of these 100% dialed and do them all very consistently, I think that this trick won't be super hard for you. But if you can't do these tricks already, the trick will definitely be hard for you. So I do have a tutorial for all of those tricks on my YouTube channel. So if you want to learn those, go check them out over there. And uh, yeah, once you've learned them, come back here and uh, you can finish the video. I will say that this trick is extremely uncommon and a lot of you probably don't even know what it is, so I'll just tell you now, it is a Whirlybird Rewind Frontside 180. The approach you're gonna wanna take for this trick is pretty much exactly the same as your normal Whirlybird. That's the approach I take anyway. If you feel that you need a little bit more time in the air, you can edge a little bit harder if you want and maybe you'll be able to get a little bit better tension at the end if you edge a bit harder so you can rip that 180 the other direction, but that's kind of personal preference. So uh, yeah, you can try a couple different edges if you want. Now that you're on that medium edge in towards the kicker, last second just before you get to it, you're going to want to flatten off on your wakeboard while also dropping that rear hand. You've approached the kicker, so at the bottom of it, you're going to want to be nice and squatted. And as you're approaching the very peak of the kicker, you're going to need to be more standing tall and really give it a solid push off the peak of it to get that maximum straight up, straight down pop. Now you're taking off the very top of the kicker and as you're releasing from it, you're gonna to wanna to be standing nice and tall while also looking up and over your rear shoulder to get that whirly bird initiated while also really ripping that handle across your face to get the perfect tension to rip you around. Also on this trick, I definitely suggest ripping it across your face a bit harder than your standard whirly bird because you're gonna wanna get that backside 360 rotation done as early as possible. I personally try and get it all the way done up to like a 270 before I actually rip it back to that front side one or front side 90, I should say. So now with the handle being ripped across your face and looking up and over in this direction, your Whirlybird has been initiated. And I'd say since you ripped it super hard and your rotation is finishing a little bit earlier than normal, I'd say at the 270 mark of your backside 360 in the Whirlybird, you're gonna wanna take this handle and rip it over to your rear hand. And once it's in your rear hand, you're gonna need to drop that front hand and take this handle and start pulling it down to your rear hip to really change that direction of your rotation. Now that the handle is being ripped to your rear hip, from here on out, it's pretty much exactly the same as a tantrum to fakie. Make sure you get that chest over your toes as you're coming down. You'll be able to spot the landing right there. So just bend your knees on impact and ride away. The main mistake I see whenever people are attempting this trick, I actually never see people attempt this trick, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The main mistake I make whenever I attempt this trick is that I will fall on my butt pretty often whenever I am messing up. And I will say that's probably the most common mistake on any trick on the planet. I've said it in a million videos. So just really make sure you get that chest over your toes and make sure you force that handle down to your rear hip to the best of your ability. Just make sure that you're not standing too tall on your landing and just falling back and slipping out. So chest over toes, handle ripped to your rear hip and uh, yeah, you should be good. Also, if that doesn't work out for you, just give the flip a little bit more gas and uh, you might over flip slightly, but it will probably put you in the perfect position for landing. That's how you do the crook. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. Also, comment below what kind of tricks you guys want to learn next or any questions you guys have about this trick. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.